I'm going to show you how to replace the door switch on a microwave oven. This oven isn't working right when you enter the time and press start. It usually doesn't work. When it does work, it heats. But when you open the door, it turns on. So I opened it up and I tested the door switches and I found the bad switch and I've uh, ordered the part and now I'm going to open it back up and replace the, the door switch and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, I've unplugged the microwave. Always keep in mind microwaves generate high voltage and can store thousands of volts. Always unplug them first and you also have to discharge the capacitor before doing any work inside a microwave. So I'm gonna about to show you how to put together a little circuit that can discharge the capacitor safely. You've probably seen how you can short across the terminals of the capacitor to discharge it, but that's bad for the capacitor and can be dangerous for you. So a better way to do it is to put together a discharge tool with a high voltage resistor like this one. This is 150k ohms, uh, 25 watt. I soldered these clip leads to the resistor and wrapped them in electrical tape. You clip one of the leads to the shaft of a screwdriver like this one here with a well insulated handle. I ground a notch in here so the clip wouldn't pop off and uh, clip the other lead to the ground screw on the chassis of the microwave or any bare metal part of the chassis of the microwave so it's grounded. I'll take the screwdriver and insert it into the terminal, one of the terminals of the capacitor. Don't touch the shaft or any metal parts. Hold it there for a few seconds and put it in the other terminal of the capacitor. Hold it there for a few seconds. And to make sure the capacitor's drained, you can also take the clip off the ground screw and attach it to the shaft of another screwdriver, like this one, and clip it on there. And then insert one of the screwdrivers into one of the capacitor terminals. Put it in there and get it seated in there. And then the other screwdriver in the other terminal. And hold it in there for a few seconds. Let me show you this better. All right. And another check to make sure the capacitor doesn't have a charge left in it. Take a well insulated needle nose pliers like this. Put one jaw in one terminal, the other jaw in the other terminal. Make a circuit there. That's good, no spark, no charge left in there. And we're good to go. Also inside the microwave is a schematic that can help you troubleshoot and this one also has model numbers for the switches if you need to replace them so that's uh, good to know about there that top switch is the switch we're going to replace it uh, sticks and the connection isn't good on it so I'll take it out and I'll show you with the ohm meter which uh, now it's not working. Get the wires off of here. Just give them a good tug with the pliers. Now to get this out of here you kind of have to twist it. There's a peg that holds it in place there. Right behind that. And I get this wire out of the way there. 
So you have to kind of twist it with the pliers to pull it out from under that uh, bracket there. Oh, got it. Right there. So I'm going to show you how this switch isn't working. I put the leads on there, the contacts, and press down the switch. Nothing. There it goes a little bit. Nothing up. But I press down, wiggle it. Probably won't go again. So here's the replacement switch. Just kind of um, push it all the way back to the little uh, shelf there. And you got to twist it over that peg to get it in place and under the bracket. Be a little bit tricky to kind of work it around in there. Uh, there, up in there, and now snap it into place like that, and snap that bracket over it. That's good. Plug the wires back into it. Like so. Now plug it in and try it out. Okay, it's plugged in and energized again, so be careful not to touch anything inside the microwave. We're just going to be dealing with the keypad and the uh, opening latch there. So let's go ahead and try it out. Uh, put a little time on the keypad here. Turn it on. Yeah, it's working. That's good. All right. Now, yep. Let's try and uh, let's see if the thing turns on when you open the door, and it does not. Everything's okay. Real good. That's what it took. A new switch. And now it's working okay again. That's the general idea of how to replace a door switch on a microwave oven. So just remember to unplug the microwave before opening it up. And after you open it up, be sure to discharge the capacitor inside before touching any of the internal components to prevent a, a serious electric shock to yourself before you start to troubleshoot or check the switches or do anything inside the microwave towards fixing it. Thanks for watching.